people often uh, ask us, uh, can I get a, where can I get a free DVD player? And the problem with free DVD players is uh, the MPEG-2 uh, encoding uh, mechanism is not free. It's a proprietary uh, 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 codec, they call it, compressor, decompressor, and you have to pay to use it. So how do they do it? I don't know. If you want the coolest, most flexible media player for Windows, Linux, or Mac, and it actually plays DVDs, VLC is it. Some, some French students uh, wrote this. Yes, and I think it's because in Windows they use the Direct Show, which I believe uh, contains MPEG-2. And okay. on the Mac, when you use it on Mac OS X, it actually just brings up the uh, built-in DVD player. Ah, uh, so that way they don't have to license exactly. it for MPEG-2. And the beauty is that it supports literally everything. Uh, it supports Stivix, supports MPEG-2, it uh, supports oh. uh, MPEG-4. Should I replace Windows Media Player with this? Probably not, but if you want, if you want something that can do everything plus, this right. is the this is the kicker. It streams. Now this is the fun one. We're going to play a DVD on another computer. Yes. In fact, it's playing right now. Um, it was playing until uh, someone take the, this. The thing about uh, streaming a uh, DVD over a network is you you need at least a hundred megabit network. Has access. to be a fast network. Has to be has a fast network and it have have no congestion. Someone kind of oh, was not on a it. lot of stuff going on. Okay. Yeah, and it, it hiccuped the system and it, it, it crashed on the. This other doesn't rely isn't very reliable in that respect. No, but it works. Great when it when it does work. So all I've done is selected the drive that it's on, select yeah. stream output here at the lower okay. corner, and click settings, and then you select the transport uh, oh method. Oh my goodness! So all I did was select UDP, and then I put in the IP address. Okay. And if you want to, and this is great, you can actually recompress it into a smaller uh, bit rate. As it's playing. As it's playing. Uh -huh. So you click on. Now this all of this is in the manual, right? I mean, this, this is, is all in okay. the README okay. that you have. It's right. really manual is, is That's probably not, not the word you should. So use. you were setting it up on the playback machine. Yes. Now we're going to another machine and then, that is uh, uh, just rebooting still. All right. All right. So, and, dun, dun, dun. and then uh, I have and and one thing you'll notice is I'm using the exact same application on both ends. I'm okay. not using a special There's server not a client one. And server. There's no server. There's no client. And as soon as this comes up, right there it goes. So actually, let me go back because I not, have not started the movie yet. So click OK here, and now this movie should, uh, as soon as it, there it goes, starts at the beginning. Okay, it's playing the movie. So let's now, go over to 4. Let's, let's go over to the other computer. And then I I'm, know it's a little confusing, folks, but we have it set up so that we can switch have, the same screen with different computers. We have two different computers. I'm going to select the network to play back from. Click OK, because I'm not selecting a disk or a file okay. locally. So it's going to look off on the network and say, and then, oh, OK. And then, let's see. Let's see. This works. Hey, here we go. We have a movie playing. We are playing a movie. And this is over a network. Over the network. So this is. How's the quality? You know, it's MPEG-2. It's the it's, same. You again, if you choose MPEG-2 quality, you're going to actually use up all the bandwidth on a hundred bit megabit. Network. Right. So no one else should be surfing. No one else should. But be... But this is on a home network. This works fine. It works fine. You know, if you have the gigabit Ethernet, you just shell out 400 bucks. This would this would be a perfect uh, use for it. This is looking good. I can't believe it. And uh, wow. You know, the great thing is you can actually multicast. So more than one, one computer yeah. could be watching the same so, stream. Exactly. So everyone just points to the same IP, and they could all be watching wow. the same stream. Now, teachers use this, I know, sometimes to uh, to stream their video as they're teaching in a, in a network uh, network classroom setting. Uh, there's lots of ways you can use this. It's a really very um, sophisticated the only, program. The only caveat is that you're streaming video, so you can't do the whole DVD, select the menu, stop, go back. Uh, only the person on the server the end controls can do that. don't work. Okay. So, you know, for my end, it's kind of a sit-back cruise control. I'm watching what they're Right. Me. Right. And the great thing is it's not just limited to DVDs, MPEGs, or uh, just video. You can a actually, netcam. A netcam. If you yep. have a direct show compatible netcam, you can mm -hmm. stream that as well. You can talk to people, over not just over your home network, over the Internet as well. Exactly. Yeah. Again, you, you know, if you're going over the Internet, don't expect to be doing uh, in, uh, DVDs because the bandwidth is not there. Right. Very interesting program. It's been around for some time, and I'm glad we uh, got a chance to tell it's everybody great, about it. It's you know. I think it's one of the free file deals of the century, it's frankly. It's great. And I, you know, it works across platforms. You have Linux or anything. I know, it's I know. awesome. I use my Linux server to playback stuff uh, on all my, all my other systems. It's perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you, Roger Chang. Our free file today is VLC. Get it uh, online at techtv.com slash call for.